In phonetics, a nasal, also called a nasal occlusive, nasal stop in contrast with a nasal fricative, or nasal continuant, is an occlusive consonant produced with a lowered velum, allowing air to escape freely through the nose. The vast majority of consonants are oral consonants. Examples of nasals in English are n and m in words such as nose, bring and mouth. Nasal occlusives are nearly universal in human languages. There are also other kinds of nasal consonants in some languages. Topic: <laughs> Definition. Nearly all nasal consonants are nasal occlusives in which air escapes through the nose but not through the mouth as it is blocked occluded by the lips or tongue. The oral cavity still acts as a resonance chamber for the sound. Rarely, non-occlusive consonants may be nasalized. Most nasals are voiced, and in fact, the nasal sounds n and m are among the most common sounds cross-linguistically. Voiceless nasals occur in a few languages such as Burmese, Welsh, Icelandic and Guarani, compare oral stops, which block off the air completely, and fricatives, which obstruct the air with a narrow channel. Both stops and fricatives are more commonly voiceless than voiced, and are known as obstruents, in terms of acoustics, nasals are sonorants, which means that they do not significantly restrict the escape of air as it can freely escape out the nose. However, nasals are also obstruents in their articulation because the flow of air through the mouth is blocked. This duality, a sonorant airflow through the nose along with an obstruction in the mouth, means that nasal occlusives behave both like sonorants and like obstruents. For example, nasals tend to pattern with other sonorants such as r and l, but in many languages, they may develop from or into stops. Acoustically, nasals have bands of energy at around 200 and 2000 Hz. 1. Carat the symbol n is commonly used to represent the dental nasal as well, rather than n, as it is rarely distinguished from the alveolar nasal. Examples of languages containing nasal occlusives The voiced retroflex nasal is is a common sound in languages of India. The voiced palatal nasal is a common sound in European languages, such as Spanish n tilde, French and Italian gn, Catalan and Hungarian ny, Czech and Slovak, Polish, Occitan and Portuguese nh, and before a vowel modern Greek ni. Many Germanic languages, including German, Dutch, English and Swedish, as well as varieties of Chinese such as Mandarin and Cantonese, have m, n, and Tamil has a sixfold distinction between m, n, n, and ma na 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 nya. Catalan, Occitan, Spanish, and Italian have m, n as phonemes, and n as allophones. Nevertheless, in several American dialects of Spanish, there is no palatal nasal but only a palatalized nasal, n, as in English canyon. In Brazilian Portuguese and Angolan Portuguese, written nh, is typically pronounced as, a nasal palatal approximant, a nasal glide in Polish, this feature is also possible as an allophone. Semivowels in Portuguese often nasalize before and always after nasal vowels, resulting in and w. What would be coda nasal occlusives in other West Iberian languages is only slightly pronounced before dental consonants. Outside this environment the nasality is spread over the vowel or become a nasal diphthong mambembe m bejbi, outside the final, only in Brazil, and montame m tej tilde m tj in all Portuguese dialects. The Japanese syllabary kana n, typically romanized as n and occasionally m, can manifest as one of several different nasal consonants depending on what consonant follows it. This allophone, colloquially written in IPA as n, is known as the Moric nasal, per the language's Moric structure. Welsh has a set of voiceless nasals, m, n, and, which occur predominantly as a result of nasal mutation of their voiced counterparts m, n, and The Mapos Buang language of New Guinea has a phonemic uvular nasal, which contrasts with a velar nasal. It is extremely rare for a language to have as a phoneme. Yanua is highly unusual in that it has a seven-way distinction between m, n, n, n palato-alveolar, front velar, and back velar. This may be the only language in existence that contrasts nasals at seven distinct points of articulation. The term nasal occlusive or nasal stop is generally abbreviated to nasal. However, there are also nasalized fricatives, nasalized flaps, nasal glides, and nasal vowels, as in French, Portuguese, and Polish. 
In the IPA, nasal vowels and nasalized consonants are indicated by placing a tilde tilde over the vowel or consonant in question. French saying s, Portuguese bom bo. Topic: <laughs> Voiceless nasals. A few languages have phonemic voiceless nasal occlusives. Among them are Icelandic, Faroese, Burmese, Jalapa Mazatec, Kildan Sami, Welsh, and Central Alaskan Yupik. II of New Caledonia has an unusually large number of them, with per meter, m, n, along with a number of voiceless approximants. Other kinds of nasal consonant Latifoged and Madison distinguish purely nasal consonants, the nasal occlusives such as m and ng in which the airflow is purely nasal, from partial nasal consonants such as prenasalized consonants and nasal pre-stopped consonants, which are nasal for only part of their duration, as well as from nasalized consonants, which have simultaneous oral and nasal airflow. In some languages, such as Portuguese, a nasal consonant may have occlusive and non-occlusive allophones. In general, therefore, a nasal consonant may be a nasal occlusive, such as English m, n, ng, a nasal approximant, as in nh in some Portuguese dialects, a nasal flap, such as the nasal retroflex lateral flap in Pashto, prenasalized consonants, pre stopped nasals and post stopped nasals, nasal clicks such as Zulu nq, nx, nc, other nasalized consonants, such as nasalized fricatives. Languages without nasals A few languages, perhaps 2%, contain no phonemically distinctive nasals. This led Ferguson to assume that all languages have at least one primary nasal occlusive. However, there are exceptions. <laughs> Lack of phonemic nasals When a language is claimed to lack nasals altogether, as with several Niger-Congo languages or the Piraha language of the Amazon, nasal and non-nasal or prenasalized consonants usually alternate allophonically, and it is a theoretical claim on the part of the individual linguist that the nasal is not the basic form of the consonant. In the case of some Niger-Congo languages, for example, nasals occur before only nasal vowels. Since nasal vowels are phonemic, it simplifies the picture somewhat to assume that nasalization in occlusives is allophonic. There is then a second step in claiming that nasal vowels nasalize oral occlusives, rather than oral vowels denasalizing nasal occlusives, that is, whether ma mba are phonemically, mba, mba, without full nasals, or per meter a, ma, without prenasalized stops. Postulating underlying oral or prenasalized stops rather than true nasals helps to explain the apparent instability of nasal correspondences throughout Niger Congo compared with, for example, Indo European. This analysis comes at the expense, in some languages, of postulating either a single nasal consonant that can only be syllabic, or a larger set of nasal vowels than oral vowels, both typologically odd situations. The way such a situation could develop is illustrated by a Jukanoid language, Wakari. Wakari allows oral vowels in syllables like ba, mba and nasal vowels in ba, ma, suggesting that nasals become prenasalized stops before oral vowels. Historically, however, asterisk mb became asterisk asterisk m before nasal vowels, and then reduced to asterisk m, leaving the current asymmetric distribution. In older speakers of the Tlingit language, l and n are allophones. Tlingit is usually described as having an unusual, perhaps unique lack of l, despite having five lateral obstruents. The older generation could be argued to have l, but at the expense of having no nasals. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Lack of phonetic nasals. Several of languages surrounding Puget Sound, such as Quileut Chimacuan family, Lachutseed Salishan family, and Maka Wakashan family, are truly without any nasalization whatsoever in consonants or vowels, except in special speech registers such as baby talk or the archaic speech of mythological figures, and perhaps not even that in the case of Quileut. This is an aerial feature, only a few hundred years old, where nasals became voiced stops, m became b, etc. after colonial contact. 
For example, Snohomish is currently pronounced Sadohobish, but was transcribed with nasals in the first English language records. The only other places in the world where this is known to occur is in Melanesia. In the central dialect of the Rotokas language of Bougainville Island, nasals are only used when imitating foreign accents. A second dialect has a series of nasals. The Lakes Plain languages of West Irian are similar. The unconditioned loss of nasals, as in Puget Sound, is unusual. However, currently in Korean, word initial per meter, and n, are shifting to b and d. This started out in non-standard dialects and was restricted to the beginning of prosodic units a common position for fortition, but has expanded to many speakers of the standard language to the beginnings of common words even within prosodic units. See also Oral consonant Nasal click Nasal vowel Nasalization List of phonetics topics Syllabic consonant Notes <laughs>